Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last episode, um, we finally finished the Mask side quest, the Happy Mask Salesman side quest. And in this episode, I think we're finally going to progress into the story. But before we do that, there's actually a heart piece we can get in the graveyard. So I'll see you guys there and I'll talk more about that heart piece there. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, hello everyone, welcome back, and we're finally in the graveyard. And the heart piece we can get here actually involves this. The Heart Pounding Grave Digging Tour, from 6 to 9, Hyrule Time. And the way to do this is, uh, you just have to use your Sun Song, uh, like in Hyrule Field or something, where time does, cha uh, does change. So, in Ka Kakariko Village... Uh, the time doesn't change, only in places like Hyrule Field, Death Mountain, uh, just not in towns or villages. Um, and as soon as it gets dark, you need to go back into Kakariko Village, so it's uh, so you can get the appropriate time. Because only between 6 and 9 you can do this minigame. And this is actually a kind of tedious minigame, because what you need to do, you actually need to dig. Well, that's all you have to do, you have to bring as much money as you can and you need to let Dampe dig in a certain spot and there are a couple of spots in this graveyard I don't know how many but there are a lot of them and in each of these spots um, each of these spots can contain a, a heart piece so let's see if this spot has one but the problem is you can li oh wait a second I'm Dampe, the gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Dampe, the gravekeeper's heart-pounding gravedigger tour. What's gonna come out? What's gonna come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. Do you want to dig here? Yeah, please, do it. And, of course, we got... Oh, wait a second. I don't think we actually um, dug on the right spot. So let's try it again. Because, yeah, it really takes a while before a Dampe walks all around this graveyard. And the problem is, you need to be on the exact um, good spot. Um, because if you let him uh, dig on these um, stones, you won't get anything. You need to let him dig on those soft mud spots. Um, that can be kind of tedious. And there's actually a little trick... Um, so you so it will be much easier to get that heart piece um, the first just just dig at the first spot and if you don't get a heart piece um, just walk out of the graveyard and try it again and I'm actually going to use this tactic because I really don't have much to say about this place and I really don't have much to say in general because I've been away for a couple of days I think like five days or something so my mind is a bit empty I really don't know what to talk about. So yeah, that's just the best thing to do. Uh, just stay at this spot and just try to get a heart piece in that one. And if you can't get it, just refresh the area and try again. And uh, look at that, we already got one. Well, I'm like the luckiest man alive, I guess. So yeah, it can take a while um, before I even tried that trick uh, that I did just a minute ago or just seconds ago I actually went all around the graveyard trying to find a heart piece and I wasted many many rupees on that mini game so I was kind of fed up with that so I'm really glad that you can use that little trick to make it to make it easier so uh, I'm really sorry if I didn't walk all, all around the graveyard but in my opinion it's just a damn waste of time so that's why I'm not doing that but yeah, now that we did that, I think there's not much else we can do. Because I think we already got all Skulltulas we can get. And right now, uh, we're actually going to the Temple of Time. Because we did learn a song. We learned the Song of Time. And Princess Zelda told us that we needed to go to um, the Temple of Time. So we're actually going that way. And before we actually go into... into um, the high. Uh, wait, wait a second. Into the Temple of Time. Sorry about that. Um, there's actually a little secret, maybe. Um, it's a character, and the problem is, um, 
if you go into the temple and um, well certain things happen inside that temple and if you don't visit that character um, before you go into the temple that character will go away so uh, it isn't really that important of a character but it, it does explain a bit on what is happening at the moment and it, it is kinda it's a kinda sad character because well you will see in a bit but oh my god sorry if that explanation was a bit fake but I'm not really good at explaining things so you'll just see in a bit it's just a really strange character that you're not able to see most of the game just on this certain part after you got the ocarina of time and before you go into the temple of time that character will be in Hyrule uh, in the back alley, I believe, and he'll you'll just be sitting there, dying, I guess. It's actually a kind of sad character in my opinion, because when I was younger, I never ever knew that that guy was there in the first place. I I discovered it on accident on the internet when people discussed that. So yeah, it's kind of weird. And I'm actually going to there he is. He's actually a soldier. So let's see what he's talking about. Uh, are you the boy from the forest? I finally met you. I've something t to tell you. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's nanny, Impa, sensed danger and escaped from the castle with our princess. I tried to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them, but... The princess was waiting for a boy from the forest. That's you. She wanted to give something to the boy. If you received it from the princess, hurry to the temple of time. And then he dies. He's not moving anymore. I must say that is kind of creepy for as for a Nintendo game there's actually a character just dying that's so weird and it's also so weird that I've never seen that before well I did see it before because else I wouldn't be able to um, to even go there because I wouldn't have known but I discovered it like maybe a couple of years ago and, I, and my mind was blown because why why and that's why in the back alley and why only in a certain period why oh, I don't know but it, it is a nice little addition to this game these little additions really make this game shine and really makes this game my favorite of them all anyway we're in the temple of time so let's open that door so let's see what's this there are oh wait, wait a second there are three hollows hollows and an inscription here yeah, who owns three spiritual stones? Stand with the Ocarina of Time. Okay, okay, I already know what to do. Just use the Ocarina of Time. Or, Song of Time, I, I mean. <laughs> I think this is the one. Yeah. And, this song is, I don't know. It, it isn't really used all that much in this game. It is used a bit more in the Master Quest version because um, there are a lot of puzzles that involve the Song of Time. Um, but the main thing with the Song of Time is is uh, Master, the no Majora's Mask. In Majora's Mask, you really have to use the Song of Time a lot because in Majora's Mask, you actually use the Song of Time to go back in time a bit, like uh, three days back. You actually reset the timer, so that's kind of kind of neat. The Song of Time is really essential in that game because without the Song of Time, it's really hard to even beat the game. It is, I think it is possible without the Song of Time, but it's really tedious, I guess. Um, especially for the for the, the new players and the players that are not that good in the game. So yeah, it's really useful in that game. In this game, however, I think Zelda's Lullaby takes the crown as the best song or the best, the most useful. Curly, isn't that? Uh, isn't what? What are you referring to, Navi? Are you being your silly self again? What are you talking about? Oh, wait a second. It's that legendary blade. The man! 
Master Sword! Well, that's cool. Let's, yeah, let's get it out. Oh my god. I absolutely love this scene. He just pulls it lot he just pulls it out like it's nothing. Just And that sword is like the same size as Link. That's just w wait, wait. Isn't that No! <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. <laughs> oh my god! So he's actually in the sacred realm right now, so what? Oh my! No! Curly! Oh my god, that's the wrong voice, sorry. Wake up, Curly, the chosen one. <laughs> Sorry about it, I was using Navi's voice. That's just plain creepy. So, we woke up, I guess, and where are we now? That's kind of weird. Are we in water or something? I always thought it was water, but I don't know what it is. I really don't know. I guess it's water? Not sure. So, why are we looking around? Hmm... Yeah, that's a nice little... Holy damn, who's that? I am Roru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built a temple of time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the chamber of sages inside the temple of light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pull out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the Sacred Realm. Curly, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. The first time I saw this, my mind was blown. I was an adult, holy damn! That's so cool, in this game you can actually be Young Link and a adult version, so that's awesome! Look, Curly, you're big now, you've grown up. Yeah, now that we're grown up, we're going to kick Ganondorf's ass, for real now! The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the hero of time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven ye- What? So what happened in all those years? And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Uh, yeah. But remember, Though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained a Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. Oh my! His evil power radiated from the Temple of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm, namely this chamber of sages. But there's still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Roru, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time the hero of time chosen by the master sword keep my spirit with you and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own 
That's actually something I kind of wondered. We do get a medallion in this game, and we are supposedly supposedly uh, getting the power of the sages, but you never ever experience that power. They say that you got the power, but you don't really get uh, new abilities or something. That's actually something I really that really bothered me when I was younger because I actually wanted to get stronger. You receive the Light Medallion. Roru the Sage adds his power to yours. So yeah, that, I don't know. I think it, it would be a great idea if you got some new abilities. Find the other Sages and save Hyrule. That you, uh, that you would get uh, more abilities uh, if you get more medallions. That would be a kind of neat addition, I guess. But that's just me. So, I think we're finally back because we were in the temple of light and that's also also one thing that bothers me in this game there are a lot of temples and te the temple of light is actually the last temple because um oh well never mind curly we're back at the temple of time but have seven years really passed it looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as I can anymore let's get out of here yeah, that's kind of sucks, but you, because you won't be able to use your Deku stick anymore, and that can be kind of useful to um, light torches. Uh, well, who's that guy? And Link is wondering that too. Who are you? I've been waiting for you, hero of time. Hmm. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages, who dwell in the five temples, one in a deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikahs. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. Okay. As I see you standing there, holding the mythical um, Master Sword, you really do like look like the legendary Hero of Time. So there are actually more Hero of Times? That's cool. If you believe the legends, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. Yeah, I guess. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I am sure you know. Well, that can only be one, I guess. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But, if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. Do you understand, Curly? Um, that's also kinda weird! Uh, that was also a thing that bothered me when I was younger, because you had to go to Kakariko Village, but then what do you need it to do? Anyway, that doesn't matter for now, because we're actually running low on time. It's actually a kind of long episode, so, uh, well, not really, we're just in time, but, um, <laughs> sorry, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode, in the next episode, uh, we're going to see how Hyrule looks after seven years, because Ganondorf took the, took, took the world in control, so I'm kind of wondering how it looks outside, well, I already know, but do you guys know? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.